Hello everyone, Les Picker here again. Uh, today we were in the middle of a project actually doing an installation for a client and uh, I thought, you know, it might be something of interest to you, particularly those of you who do canvases and want to uh, learn how to coat them properly and eventually to mount them onto your frames. So for today, that's what we're going to do. And uh, let me make some points to you and then you'll understand where we're going. This is, uh, we'll, we'll show you on screen here a picture of what image the ch clients chose to have on their wall. Now we made that into a triptych for our client and here's one of the panels right here as you can see. And this panel uh, along with the other, another one, so two out of the three panels I've already coded and I'll talk to you about the third panel and how we're going to code it and you'll, you'll see the process as it unfolds. So I'm going to put this back. I will mention that the canvas that we used was uh, made by Moab Fine Art Papers. It's um, called Anasazi Canvas, a wonderful, wonderful canvas, picks up the inks really well. But I will tell you, of course, in the, in the interest of full disclosure, that our studio is sponsored by Moab Fine Art Papers, and uh, I'm putting that out there for you. The, uh, before you actually start coding your papers, uh, let me make a suggestion to you, and that is go and print an entire sheet of whatever you're printing, whether it be an 8 by 10 or, or in our case, um, 20 by 40 uh, panels, uh, whatever it is, print a, a one or two out and experiment. Try, figure out uh, how the coatings work, get used to them. That's really important because things can go awry when you coat things, when you coat your, your canvases. So you want to make sure that you've got the process down pat uh, before you proceed. So in this case, I took one of our 20 by 40 um, panels and I cut it in, I, this is an extraneous, an extra panel, and I cut it into thirds and did a test uh, with these coatings to see which kind of coating I wanted. Did I want something very glossy? Did I want it a bit muted? And I came, uh, so by doing that, you know, you can see the different panels here. One is very reflective of, of uh, one is very muted in this case because I used a matte coating for the final coat. And in this case, I used a satin coating I don't like high gloss on, on a canvas but uh, because it's very reflective and sometimes when you see it on a wall uh, it's very distracting to have all of this uh, glare right in your eye. So after doing my tests with this particular product, which I'll talk to you about, uh, I decided that a satin coat for the final coat really worked the best. Okay, um, some, some pointers about coating your canvases. Number one, make sure your room environment is suited for doing your canvases. What do I mean by that? Uh, you want to make sure that your humidity in your room is between 40 and 60 percent. Now a lot of houses, especially forced hot air heat, hot, uh, hot air heat, uh, you're going to find uh, their humidity in the house is below 40 percent. That is not good for the drying process. So you may have to put a humidifier in the room where you're going to be doing the coating so that you can raise that humidity up. I like to work 45 to 50 percent and try to get it to that, uh, to that relative humidity. The other thing is the temperature. And you shouldn't attempt to do this if your house or the room you're coating in is below 60 degrees. So they say 60 to 80 degrees is, is, is a good uh, range. I keep it around 70, 72 uh, with relative humidity, about 45%, as I said. I try for 50, doesn't always work, but 45 to 50 is, is really good. That gives the coatings a chance to dry smoothly and uh, without 
and, and a little bit slower, and that's what you want to have happen. Okay, so here, what do you need to do this? Uh, obviously, you're going to need the coatings themselves. Now, we use a lot of coat, different kinds of coatings in our studio, sometimes for the wallpaper, like you see back here. That takes a different coat, that's a future video. Uh, for now, I've been turned on to this product called Premier Eco Print Shield. We have nothing to do with this company. They, they don't sponsor us. We don't make any money from plugging their product. But to tell you the truth, I really like the product. Uh, it's easy to apply, and uh, as you'll see, and it works really quite well. So they make three um, kinds of coatings. They make a glossy, they make a satin, and they make a matte. No matter which of the final coats you're going to use, the first two coats have to be glossy because that is what seals the product in best. So you put two coats of glossy and then your final coat, your third coat, uh, will be either satin, well, it, your third coat could be the glossy again uh, if you really want it glossy, but the third coat in my case uh, is satin in this demo, which we'll show you, but it could be a matte um, final coat also, and that knocks down the gloss, and uh, amazingly, it contains certain agents in it that remove the gloss and give you a very uh, flat uh, look, a matte look. It's very well sealed, though, and uh, protects against UV, protects the canvas from cracking, and it really adds some depth to the canvas, uh, which is really a good, uh, a good thing visually. Another thing you'll need is uh, some tape, just regular painter's tape, in order to uh, get the corners down, and th that prevents it from curling up as you're using your roller to go back and forth. It keeps the corners and the whole, the whole um, panel in, in shape without, without curling. Very important, a lot of people overlook this. You need a camel's hair brush of some sort in order to uh, get all the dust off your canvas. Don't neglect this, folks, because once you apply this coating, uh, there's a good chance that dust, particles, hair uh, will get embedded in that, in, that, uh, in that canvas, and then when you try to take it off, it leaves a mark. So what you're gonna, you'll see me do as we get going is I will brush the canvas first. You'll also need a board uh, to, on which you're going to do the rolling. Now let me make a caution to you here. It's tempting to just use cardboard, right, as your, under, uh, as your base. Don't. Cardboard has corrugations in it, and when you try to roll it, it makes wavy. Uh, some of the, uh, the troughs will uh, accept more of the, uh, or, or less, it depends, uh, of the, uh, the uh, preservative. Others of the coating, others will take less, and it comes out with a bumpy look. What we recommend using is gator board. Not foam board, which can warp, but gator board, which stays uh, unwarped, gives you a good firm surface on which to, to use it. So, I use a 3 16 inch piece of gator board. You can use quarter inch, you can use half inch, whatever you have available. But make sure it's large enough so that you can roll off the canvas uh, and, and still be protected, uh, protect your environment uh, by being on the gator board. So that's, that's something else uh, you will need. Finally, uh, you will, of course, need some trays. In this case, uh, I use a uh, six inch roller with a plain plastic um, case, uh, plastic uh, tray that I got at Home Depot. No big deal, they were inexpensive, they work well. And then I would recommend highly that you have an additional roller that is dry, that you keep dry in case you over apply some of the, uh, the coating, you can quickly pick up your dry and, and brush it back a little bit using, the, um, using this dry roller. Okay, so I think that about sets the stage for the uh, 
uh, for the preliminary things I wanted to discuss with you. And now what we're going to go and do is we're going to start applying the first coat. We're go and once it's done, we're going to wait about 20 minutes to 30 minutes, allowing it to dry. We'll then apply a second coat. And I want to show you the difference on, as to how the coating applies itself to the canvas between the first and second coat. It's a pretty marked difference because that first coat sucks up that, uh, the canvas sucks up that first coat and uh, you have to work fairly quickly to get it um, all done and, and avoid streaks happening, uh, which I'll show you. And then of course the third coat, 20 minutes late after that, uh, you apply the final coat and then 30 minutes later it's ready to handle. So it's a pretty easy process, but it's not one you should just attempt to do without experimenting first because there is a matter of how quickly to put it on and there's the matter of avoiding uh, lines appearing in, in the, uh, in your can on your canvases. Okay, so let's move on and let's see how we are going to actually do the application. All right, we're ready to get started uh, with the coating. Uh, we have a nice dry canvas here. We've let it dry for a while. I have the edges taped down with just, just in the corners with a, a little bit of uh, blue painter's tape. A couple of things I want to mention to you. First, uh, the manufacturer recommends uh, diluting this four parts of the material to one part water. So 80% of the coating and 20% with water. Another thing they say is to shake well. It says right on the top of the can. That does not mean to shake it vigorously. You'll get bubbles in the coating and that is not a good thing. You don't want bubbles on your canvas. So shaking well really means slowly turning it up and down while you rotate the can. And you'll do that 10 or 12 times. Then when you open up the can, you will use a stirring rod to just gently mix it, make sure that it's, it's uh, really quite well mixed. Next, as I mentioned before, critical part here is make sure there's no dust either on the canvas or in the immediate environment because as you overroll, you're going to be picking things up from the side. So what, I, what you'll do is you'll come in here, make sure everything is well brushed away from the canvas. All right, and then you'll run your brush. I see a little particle of dust there. And I'll run it all the way down, making sure everything is clean, dust free. All right, and you can't be over careful on this. This is a nice soft camel hairs brush, so there's no worry about, uh, about scratching the canvas itself. Okay, so now we're ready. I have my material already mixed in this uh, tray of 80% to 20%, and I'm going to, uh, I have my roller right here, and get your roller uh, nice and wet, and then just even it out on the top part of the tray so that there's not too much, and then we'll start rolling this first coat. Now, as I told you, the first coat absorbs very quickly. So I'm going to start down here and come up and you notice it's sort of like a milky uh, look to it. Uh, the, like I said, this first coat will, is a little bit of a, of a problem, if you will. I want to not put too much. God damn. So I just, what I'm going to do here is uh, keep on applying some of this. Notice I go off the uh, off the canvas and I'm going to make sure that I get a good covering here while also paying attention to make sure that I don't have lines appearing. That's critical. So I'm going to go as I do this, I can go back and forth. I keep on going back a couple of rows and making sure that I have that I have uh, good coverage but also avoiding the lines that are forming. I can see them. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this. I'm literally holding the handle very lightly. I'm just using this as a, my finger as a directional pointer. And you doing that, I'm going to go back and forth with this. I got a little too much in one area, so I'm going to 
smooth that area back around and again go over it back down just constantly looking for lines that might be forming and smoothing those lines out so things are going nicely right now i've got this area nicely covered and you notice it gives you a milky look that will go away as this uh, as this material dries it will dry clear so again, I went off the, off the uh, canvas onto the gator board. And again, no pressure. I'm just, just very gently doing this. And I'll come back now and try to get rid of some of these lines that are forming. And this takes a while. This first coat is, is the, if anything, is just, that is the most problematic of the coats. Not that it's a real problem, but I, I just want to, uh, caution you to be careful, keep on going back very lightly and getting rid of any lines that might form. Now, if you get a little over anxious about it, uh, don't worry because let's say you do have a bit of a line or here or there, you can lessen its impact on the second and third coats by coating in this direction. All right, but for now, for any of these coats, you want to make sure you're going in the same direction. You can't go on different angles. You can't go horizontally and then vertically. You have to keep it in one direction for any given coat. In, for the second coat, you can then change, but, uh, but not while you're doing this. So I know you notice it's not uh, taking entirely evenly, so I'm going to go back and forth here. This is um, this canvas has been drying for quite a long time, so I notice that I have to get out here to the edges and get it nice and smooth there. There we go, getting everything covered. And now that I'm covered, I'm going to start with my smoothing, making sure that my lines are not not in the going to happen. I'm going to go in one direction now. Uh, you can go in two directions, but I tend to like this last coat going in one direction and making sure that my lines are covered. Nice and easy, just very lightly. I can even hold the thing this way and just barely glide it. Here we go. And I notice I'm getting a little bit of buildup on the top here, so I'm going to go right off, right off the canvas. That's okay. And again, I'm going to come back here, make sure there are no lines. And we'll do that. I'm picking up a little bit of line here, so I'm going to work it a little bit. Work it a little bit. And it's just, it, in a way, it's kind of a fun job uh, to do. Don't, don't be uh, scared off by this whole thing I'm uh, caution you about the lines. You just mix the stuff. It goes on very easily. I'm noticing a line right here. Don't like that. So I'm going to go back and forth several times on it and make sure that I don't have any, it won't show in the final product. And if you have good lighting, you know, this shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, you can see the lines very easily that are forming. And I'm kind of liking the way it's looking right now. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. I see a spot here that doesn't seem to have taken uh, the coating very well. That will show up in, as you do this. And this is all there is to it. We've basically finished that first coat. But like I said, this is the most problematic coat. Uh, I think I like the way things are going on this. So that's fine. We're done with the first coat. And uh, we'll let this dry for 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and do the second coat. As we pan across the canvas, you can notice after the first coat, uh, it looks pretty darn good. I don't see any lines. Uh, the coating has, has uh, soaked into the canvas. And basically, we're ready for the second coat, which will then increase the gloss and um, really give us a, the look we want. 
So here we go with the second coat. You'll note that it goes on much quicker. I'm not boring you uh, with real-time uh, application of the coating, but um, it'll, you'll use much less coating as you do this, and uh, it goes on smoother, and it'll dry faster. Now notice uh, I didn't have lines after that first coat. If I had noticed lines, I would probably apply this 90 degrees to the direction I'm going in here, but that actually wasn't necessary. Okay, we have two coats on. They look absolutely beautiful, um, very nice and glossy. And what I'm going to do now is put a third coat on, but this time it's going to be the satin uh, coat so that it will knock down a little bit of this gloss. You know, it is, it's very attractive the way it is now, but I just want to make sure that there's no glare uh, when it's up on a wall. And, uh, well, not no glare, but at least less glare. And uh, knowing where this is going to be positioned for my client, it should be just fine. So here we go. I've got my uh, roller ready. I'm going to get it. It's a dry, I started with a dry roller, so I'm going to get it nice and wet. Here, it's the third and final coat. And here we go. Again, I'll just follow the same kind of uh, procedure as I did before. I don't want to go too quickly. Seeing a little bit of lines here, so I'm going to smooth that out a bit. It's already drying, folks. It's, uh, this is very quick. It's third coat, this third and final coat, so you have to keep at it, make sure that... And by the way, the agents that they use in this, these dispersion agents, uh, they, they really work well. They, they make it so that the, if you see little bumps of liquid, of this coating on it, it tends to spread out nicely as you, um, as you go over it with the roller. And when it's almost dry, they disappear altogether. So I'm just going with my final little bit. I see a little bit of accumulation there. I don't want that. And now I'm just going to come back in the same direction. Whoops. OK, same direction, very gently, very evenly. Again, so little pressure on this, I'm basically just holding it, keeping it from falling out of my hand. We are done. All right, folks, we are done with the third coat. Uh, the canvas has now dried, and uh, from what I can see, it's looking pretty good. Uh, you'll notice that the sheen, that glossy uh, uh, coating has been knocked down a little bit because uh, we use the semi-gloss for the third and final coat. But it's looking pretty good. I don't see any lines. And as far as I'm concerned, we're ready to go to the next phase, which is actually mounting this canvas onto a frame. And uh, there are some tips and techniques I'd like to share with you about that. So until the next video, uh, this is Les Picker signing off.